So you're trans. Yeah. Ron DeSantis is running for president. Yeah, he's an awful person. <laughs> I think Ron DeSantis is a fascist. Oh, okay. Yeah. Healthy heaping of lube. Yeah, so if you keep going down, do you see what that is a picture of? It's a monkey. Is that an armpit? What is that? No, that's a... I'm assuming? Close. <laughs> okay. So these are the types of books that Ron DeSantis is trying to ban. Okay, I see where you're going. So you're really a Ron DeSantis. We're done. Worry is not an adequate expression of how fearful I am of the possibility of him becoming president of the United States for many, many reasons. Ron Disaster has no chance of becoming president of these United States because he has shown his color. We don't need to know what he's going to do. He has shown us. We're in Florida. We know what's going on with Ron DeSantis, yes. and he's chosen to run for president. We're letting everybody we talk to today, if you have something you want to say to Ron DeSantis or have any opinions to voters out there, please share them with our audience. Um, yes, Ron, you need to learn to spread kindness and not hate and be accepting of everyone, all voters. You're not going to get these voters because you're spreading hate and creating bigotry that's unnecessary. We need to put the right people in office, and I'm sorry, Ron DeSantis is not it. Who do you think would be the right person? I'm still researching all of the candidates, and I haven't narrowed it down just yet. Do you think Biden would be a good option just keeping him in going forward for the next four years? Um, much better than Trump or Ron DeSantis, I yes. can say that. Yes. So you mentioned Ron DeSantis's hate and bigotry. Yeah. Can you give me examples of those things that he's displayed? Uh, don't say gay in school. The ban on different books is ridiculous. Like, I feel that if a parent doesn't want their child to read certain books, they can tell the librarian, don't let my child check out this book. Right. But don't squash the, you know, First Amendment right of speech. Right. So I'm actually glad that you mentioned the book, um, the book banning, because I feel very, very, very strongly about that. And I was wondering, I kind of want to make like a little montage of people here reading the books that he wants to ban. Kind of like a way of saying like, you're not going to silence us. We have a First, First Amendment right to read that. Would you be willing to stop take like one page of one of the books that he banned you can hold my phone and read what it says oh I can't see it I can't see the words can you after see that? the train has left the station so to speak and you've had a chance to watch a what does that say mm -hmm. wash up your back there you can have an load of fun with a healthy heaping of lube. Yeah, so if you keep going down, do you see what that is a picture of? It's a monkey. Is that an armpit? What is that? No, that's a... I'm assuming? Close. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is. these are some of the it's books that he wants to song. ban. Do you see that? Yeah. But these aren't the particular books I was talking about. A lot of them are were mandatory reads in our literature classes in middle school. Do you think something like this is appropriate for to be in a kid's school? Pictures of penises and instructions on how to masturbate? Um, no, not in school particularly. Okay. So these are the types of books that Ron DeSantis is trying to ban. Okay, I see where you're going. So you're really a Ron DeSantis. We're done. It's just... You're t no, you're spinning it. You're coming like you're against Ron DeSantis. And now... That I just let you have done. the floor. Well, this is these are the books that he wants to ban. I just wanted to know if you're okay with those being in schools. She brought up the book banning, not me. And so I had her read some of the books that Ron DeSantis does not want in schools. And she was uncomfortable continuing to read them from me. And then she walked away. So... Very first person we talked to. Happy Pride, everybody. So, you're trans. Yeah. 
Ron DeSantis is running for president. Yeah, he's an awful person. <laughs> he's an absolutely awful person who is vindictive and okay. he has personal vendettas and he uses his political office to achieve his personal vendettas. But and I think that's okay. absolutely... Like, he gets mad at Disney for going against his rule, his uh, law saying that they think that it should be repealed, and then he takes a personal vendetta and uses it against Disney to uh, attack them. So yes, he does use his political office and his power for his own personal gain. Okay, yeah. so what personal vendetta and what, what's the drama with Disney? Can you break it down for me? Uh, the drama with Disney, as far as I understand it, is that Disney said that uh, Ron DeSantis let, uh, passed the Don't Say Gay Bill, and Disney said that it was it shouldn't have been passed. Okay, right. And as soon as they said that, Ron DeSantis immediately starts using his uh, office to start taking rights away from Disney, start trying to reincorporate or take away their uh, land rights and all of that. Ron DeSantis is our governor, and he has decided to run for president. Yeah. And we're letting people here today tell our audience across the country what's the truth about Ron DeSantis and why he would or wouldn't make a good president. I just feel like the struggle I have with him is that he's very one-sided, very individual-minded, and very old-school-minded in this, like, he just doesn't accept anybody that's different in any way. And I feel like a lot of people, like, yes, it's easy to be like, oh, yeah, well, he doesn't accept LGBT. But he has so many problems with so many people, including even women. Like, if you are a woman, how can you vote for him? What do you think voters should consider as, as a Floridian? Um, first of all, I really don't think he's going to. I think okay. Trump is a lot more popular. And I, re so? I really do. I really think, even though I personally do not like Trump, I think that Trump I'm has shocked. a backing. <laughs> I think that Trump has way more of a backing than DeSantis. So I'm really not technically worried about him getting the uh, the nomination unless Trump can't win, run okay. for because of the right. whatever's right. going on right, right now. Right. If he did if Trump wasn't able to run, I could see DeSantis winning. Mm -hmm. Um Let's just do that hypothetical. Yes, but what do you think the country should know about DeSantis? I think the country should know that Ron DeSantis is a very um insecure man who does not need to be running the country <laughs> just he's very insecure and very okay. very uh vindictive and that's not the type of person that we should be electing as our leaders hateful incompetent um not for the community okay just really i feel like he's really reaching for conservatives and using that to spread hatred up he's forgetting about all the people that are from here that are lgbt and you know just people here. Like. So what are some examples of his hate or his rhetoric against people and LGBTQ? Just not um, allowing people to be themselves, like actively trying to squash people from that from the state that he lives in, just okay. trying to say that they can't say how they feel, they can't talk about their home life, their relationships, like they're saying that they're grooming people when they're just talking about their lives. Like there are kids that have two moms and two dads. There are kids that are LGBTQ and questioning and they attend these schools and they live in the state. They were born and raised here. Mm -hmm. So it's just, and also losing jobs like the um, immigration laws that he's doing with like not hiring people and stuff we need hospitality workers we need farm workers in this state we need disney these create all these jobs mm -hmm. and he's just not caring right right not so caring. he's he's not caring much do, do you think immigrants are the ones who would, would do those jobs without the immigrants we wouldn't absolutely okay absolutely i run the highest funded youth nonprofit in the country called c alliance we're here registering voters on both sides of the party and we're just working to make sure people can access their civic power unfortunately ron DeSantis has disenfranchised voters across the state of florida he's making it hard for young people to vote he's making it hard for marginalized people to vote and we need to invest in that we need to work to make sure everyone no matter who they are has a voice in our political process and ron DeSantis doesn't care about that if you don't look like him if you don't think like him and if you don't talk like him he doesn't want you to participate in politics and we're here to change that I'm gonna I disagree with you because Florida is very diverse. It has a lot of know, the Hispanic the community. I know, but if you look at how the, is he preventing marginalized people from voting? So he's done a lot to disenfranchise marginalized voters recently with immigration rules. That's going to make it very, very difficult for any immigrant to touch a voter registration form, and it's going to make it very, very difficult for any organizations who work with the immigrant population to register voters, which is a direct attack on that community, which makes up a large part of Florida and should be represented in our votes, but are not anymore. But if you're a citizen, you can vote. 
not always. It's very difficult to be able to access voter information, and we're seeing cuts across the board that make it hard for nonprofit organizations to register voters, which means then it is only the state you said responsibility to register voters. have the chance to vote. Do you mean it's difficult to get to the voting booth and have information? But they not can that, vote. But it's also difficult. But to they access. can vote, right? Not necessarily. I mean, that's a very simplistic thing. It's like saying, oh, you can drive a car, but it's like, oh, can I afford a car? Can I put gas in the car? Okay. It's a very difficult process to be able to register to vote, get that information, complete it to the ballot. And there's a lot of things Ron DeSantis is doing that makes that intentionally more difficult. See, we've seen states that have taken intentional measures to make sure it's easier on a work day to get to the ballot. It makes seen that it's making it easier to find access on voter registration information. But Ron DeSantis is making sure that that is not accessible because he wants to be able to control the amount of people who votes. And it's smart because if you can control the voting population and concentrate it to your ideology, then you're going to be reelected. And that's what we have to fight again because I'm I'm sure you believe in individual choice. We want to support every single person's ability to make choices on the ballot. Everybody knows Ron DeSantis, mm -hmm. and he's decided to run for president. Does that worry you, considering what you just mentioned? You thought that everything was going well. Yeah. Um, worry is not an adequate expression of how fearful I am of the possibility of him becoming president of the United States for many, many reasons. So. So today we're getting petitions signed to get the woman's right to choose on the ballot um, and to stop the six-week ban because okay. so many people don't even know they're pregnant or that they've got a severely deformed fetus that won't be viable. Okay. Um, so yeah, it scares the death out of me. Okay. Is there... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We're sisters. She's the warrior. <laughs> yes. I live on hope. Um, Rhonda's... Ron Disaster has no chance of becoming president of these United States because he has shown his color. We don't need to know what he's going to do. He has shown us. Yes. Is there any one particular thing that worries you the most? You run on hope. But is there any, so do you think the abortion issue is the number one issue for you when it comes to Ron DeSantis? Mm, I, I'm, I have to say, even more than that, I just worry about how the integrity of government agencies is being torn down, and I think yes. that we can count on DeSantis to keep that, that rolling. Mm -hmm. So that worries me the most, and then I would say just the rights being rolled back for everybody, women, gay people, trans people. And how, how heartless some of these politicians are. I was just telling my sister, I saw a film clip of George Wallace being interviewed way back when he was running for president. And he was asked, why do you go out and just talk about um, racism. Racism. Mm -hmm. And his answer was, I tried talking about roads, I tried talking about laws, but when I say the N-word, everybody stomps their feet. Mm -hmm. And that's what DeSantis is doing. I think Ron DeSantis is a fascist. Oh, okay. Yeah. How so? Um, I think that he's pushing a lot of hateful laws and he's allowing people to feel the need that they can hate on people just because of who they are. Okay. Which is what wrong. laws are those? Um, like the don't say gay law and okay. making children feel like they aren't allowed to like be themselves. Um, I don't think that I don't think that kids should you know know about sex, but I think kids should know that they're allowed to feel differently. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of gay youth, and it's really confusing not knowing that it's okay to feel the way that you feel. And I feel like it's making a lot of young gay children feel like they're not allowed to feel that way. So do you think the bill literally has in there, you cannot say the word gay in a public school? They, uh, From what I've read, they have the bill to where teachers are not allowed to talk to students at all if they want to open up about their own personal uh, gender identity. They have to like report that to parents, which can be really dangerous, and a lot of kids will get their asses beat uh, just for wearing pink. So, do you think it's appropriate for a do, do you think it's appropriate for a parent to know about that if a child is questioning their identity? Um, not always, because like I said, it can be very dangerous for the children. Could it be dangerous the other way around if they're feeling this confusion and they're questioning, and they go to a, a teacher who is, I mean, let's be honest, they're strangers. We don't know who they are. We don't know their personal lives. We don't know if they have a certain point of view that they want to push on children. Don't you think that that should be left up to the parents rather than someone who is not a family member, not a trusted source, because they're, at the end of the day, a stranger? I think the idea of teachers being a stranger is a bad idea to have because teachers should be someone that children can feel safe with. They, yeah. They're the parent while they're not with their parents. So I think that kids should feel 
safe around their teachers. I always felt safe with my teachers. Right, me too. I never had a teacher that I felt unsafe with, but also their children. So how do they know who is a safe person and who isn't? I think the idea behind the bill is that only parents can interact with their children about sex, sexuality, gender identity, or anything to do with that. But it's not the teacher's job to do that. But doesn't that then mean that sex education is not okay? I, I would say that yes. So do you think that children shouldn't learn about puberty and like how their bodies develop and how their hormones like make them feel? It's not in a public school. <laughs> well, that's kind of stupid. Uh, I think kids should know that because the parents aren't going to teach them that. That's why all of these like Republican kids have teen pregnancies and either um, kill the kid or just have a really unhappy life because they have a teen pregnancy when all they were taught was abstinence. If we have a more open sex education, I think that less teen pregnancies would occur, occur and I think that there would be less dangerous situations like that. Okay. Thank you for your opinion. I don't think it's the public school's job. I think that's the parents' job. Okay. And, uh, so that, that's my opinion. I think that's what the bill is going for. So, um, yeah. Anyway, you said he was a fascist. Any other examples of his fascism? Real quick smile. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think I'm done for now. Thank you. All right. If you think of any more, you know where to find me. Yes, ma'am.